All right, let's get going. Let's get busy. Got stuff to do today. Here's my palette. White, phthalo green, little phthalo blue, red, crimson, Indian yellow. These are transparent, so it won't cover up the mountain. Yellow ochre, some ye bright yellow. Olive, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's some kind of, that's sap green and some raw umber, I think. Brown. So, I'm going to take, and I need a clean brush. And I'm going to start out with, that one's good, but I don't know if it's going to, that'll be all right. I'm going to take and start with the Indian yellow. And I'm going to just get a little bit of it on here, on this one. Can you see that okay? There. And what I want to do is, we'll start right, right here. See how it goes. This is a little bigger than that. See that Indian yellow is transparent. And what that means is that there, right there is that you can, it won't cover the black up. Okay. Now if I put white in there, it would, but we're not going to do that today. So we'll start with that. And then we're going to get a little bit of yellow ochre. This is just a very soft brush and it's smaller because on these smaller ones, it can be kind of hard to, you want a big brush you can use and this yellow ochre is a golden color that there maybe a little more just dropping a little more yellow ochre on there there and that's a little darker there I'll do that how's that look i like it all right and then we can get a little bit of crimson on there just a little bit you can always add more, but just touch a little bit. Crimson's going to eat that yellow up and come above it. And you can just go side to side if you want. And it'll probably turn it orange a little bit. Now up here, we're out of the mountains. I don't care if I have too much uh, color that's um, transparent because it's not going to cover them up. We'll go come all the way over there. A little fun. Some good colors in there. Maybe a little red on top of that. What do you think? Is this thing moving around again? That's right. I'll hold it here. Okay. A little red. And then let's come back in and get some of that phthalo blue. And that can be the outside. See, I'm just, and it'll get purplish when you mix it with the red. And we'll come back up here. This is going to be the strongest color so far. Oh, yeah, that looks all right. There. Down there. Bring that in a little. Let's get a little more blue. I'm trying to hold my... I don't do a good job holding my palette, so let's go here and do this. Okay, get that up there and bring it down. Right there. And see this, if you're using this liquid... Um, you're using all the, uh, there, over here and just kind of block that in too. If you're using the, uh, the it's this clear medium on here, okay, then it blends easy. That's the cool thing about if you've tried painting with, uh, if you've tried painting with, I'm just checking it out from the camera. That looks all right. If you've tried painting with uh, acrylics, eh, you got to be pretty good with those. A lot darker up here, up in the thing, because there you are. they can be. Well, that's pretty dark, but it's all right. Make the sides. I don't want to kill it all, but there, that looks all right. I think I'm over there. So it got some nice little haze, and then I'm gonna come back and blend it. I'm just using this 99 cent brush I got. So and my paints are just uh, probably on sale. There's my phone going off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just start, and I, this is this is pretty simple. I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to kind of blend it. Take some of that off. There, see, you get that white. There's white underneath, so you just kind of remove that, and then you, and it'll get lighter because the canvas is white. If you want a bright sky, I would suggest using a white canvas. Um, you can use a. I'm just going side to side. 
you can crisscross or whatever. There you go. So if you want to try to paint something like this, this is, you know, the prep time is pretty simple. It's not, not hard to do. So um, there, that looks all right. And you can wipe it off and I can grab another one and come back in and blend it. Excuse me. Come, this is just another brush I have, but come back in and you could take some white if you wanted to, but today this one might be a little, it's cleaner and you don't want to go back in and dirty your sky. Okay. All right. I like that. Yeah. I, I chose to paint today instead of go boating. So, oh, well, it's hot in Montana right now. I'm going to grab another one and then I'm just going to go this way. Just go back and forth. Take out the brush strokes and call it good. That'll be nice. Now, if you want, you can put a little cloud up in there in the sky. And so I don't really have any plans for my, what I'm doing, but I'm just going to take, and I don't know, this is, looks like a brush you'd use for petals, but I'm going to take and get some purple, some blue, some red, maybe throw a little, get some crimson in there, there, a little dark color, and maybe we can just throw a little, little cloud up in there, that's a little more blue. There we go, a little more purple. Okay. And just, just be loose because that's what, you know, if you try to work your clouds and make too much, they, they don't look right. You wanna just kinda make some little humps here and there and do something like that, you know, push up. This brush here is probably not even the right brush to use, but again, you can do whatever. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one I was using. See that one? Maybe I'm going to take a clean one. I've got tons of these, so there's another one. I go through a lot of brushes. There's some good purple in there. And then all I want to do is kind of blend out the bottom. Soften it. Pull it over. Okay, almost looks like a mountain, doesn't it? There. And just kind of do something like that. That is pretty. I like it. It's very, very. I'm going to add a little white to it, though. Try to lighten it a little bit. It's pretty dark. Okay, watch this. And we're just going to add a little white into it. I lighten it up a little bit. I'm just adding that to my brush. You know. Make it a little bit lighter. And then maybe down here, you got a little bit there. A little bit underneath it. But the first thing you want to do before you go underneath it is you just kind of, kind of blend it, you know. Do that. See? And just, there's your cloud. Almost looks like a mountain back there, doesn't it? And if you want, you can put a little more underneath it. Maybe there's another little one right here that comes down. Okay, get some more. This is, just kind of comes down and has a wall. There, it pops up there a little bit. And throw that aside, bring this back over and kind of soften it up a little bit, pull it down. See, clouds are flowerless. You can go side to side here, pull it, pull them, and it's good. Now, another thing you can do, and you gotta be very careful on this, is once you have that done, you can come in and just Right, lightly go over them like this, and that'll set them into the sky. See, there. Then we could add something on the bottom, but I think I'll just leave it like that. You know, be careful you don't move the camera; it goes blurry. I've bumped into it a few times. So if you're filming and you you hit your camera, right now I have it on auto. I've I've zoomed in so it doesn't zoom in on my hand and everything. So I've, I've left it that way, but uh, yeah, you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to make that mistake again, because then you're not that you can't fix it, but then you're uh, kind of in trouble. So now let's take, and I'm going to work on my mountains. So we get to have some highlights here. We're going to highlight the inside because that's kind of where the sun is. 
So I'm just going to take some white, some of that purple, okay, blue, yeah, maybe some crimson. I'm just going to come in here. I'm just using the this little tiny fan brush. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to have a little, you know, little highlights in here. And this one might be a little tougher, but we're just going to pull that down. Okay, maybe these have a little bit in there. Let's see, hopefully you can see that. And then same thing over here. We don't know. This is a challenging little brush, actually, but that's all right. See that? And then you can come over here and touch. Just make little, bring them down. Okay. Maybe that comes down. They just kind of push in. I like that, a little lighter. Maybe get a little yellow ochre in there. Be careful, though. You don't want... Okay, I like that. Again, I'll get a little more in there. See that little purple? And just touch light. These ones are far back, so I don't look too much on those. Okay, maybe it's like all my mountains. You know, I just do them so they're, they're easy to see. But you can kind of see in the middle there, you got that. And then on the outside, since we got our blue, I'll add some blue to that. Okay, a little blue. Purple and blue, a little white maybe. Too much. You want it kind of dark, but and you can dull it, but now we're gonna have more blue back here. I'm gonna put my hand up here. See that? And then these can kind of come this way. You need distant mountains usually have blue in them. So over here. And I'm just see how easy that is? That's all in shadow. So you're gonna have the blue. Okay, come down. Bit there, see that? There's a little bit under there. Okay, so then you have that. Now, also, I'm not going to use this brush, but I think we can grab a another one over here. I'll get a little yellow ochre in there. Some, maybe a little white, a little yellow ochre. You got to be careful, but it'll be okay here because this is purple. And maybe you can put a little bit of yellow right here. See, touch. Get a little more highlight. Push that into that yellow ochre, maybe. Okay, and then just come in here. And there. See, just a little bit right there. Not a much. Let it fall off. The, you know, this is wet. And you could use a liner brush, too, with the small stuff here. But let's just, I'll get a little yellow in there. I don't want that. Yellow ochre is nice. I could use some Indian yellow too. I just want to have a little highlight in there. Maybe a little touch right there. There. So that gives you some. I'm just looking again here. Little indications back there. Oof, not bad. Okay. A little coffee. Yeah. Thanks again for watching and, and subscribe for more videos. You know, I'm always trying to. Uh, <laughs> grow my channel. It's hard though. There's a lot of painters out there in the world trying to do the same thing. And I'm probably not, well, a little green. I'm just going to mix up some ground color here. Put a little blue in there maybe down here. Just make some more, some more blue maybe. I'm just going to try to bring some, some stuff forward here. Maybe a little white. Okay, and then just kind of down here, I want to just kind of lighten it up, maybe. A little light here and there, a little, see that's still covered. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe we'll do that a little darker, you know, back there. Get some darker, distant, a little green in there, maybe. A little darker back there, like you've got some blues and... Get some more of that blue down here. There. Like there's some distances in the mountains still. Okay, right to there maybe. And then I'm going to take some blue. Get some phthalo green in there. And some of that blue. And maybe we'll throw some water like here. And see you can go right over all that. without It's transparent color. So that makes it easy. 
That's a nice green down here. Okay. All right. And then you got water, and then you got distant mountains there. You can get a little more blue in there. I want to take this area and make it a little lighter, though. The distant mountain part, because that's going to kind of. And one thing, too, that I didn't do, that I'll do here real quick, is at the base of this, you just want to kind of pull it, and that'll make it blend into, let's see there, kind of blend it in. There, that all kind of goes together. See, and then it kind of gives you a little, a little more of a, like there's some distant mountains back there, and then we're going to leave it like that. But then we got to come in and, We'll have to get our water going. So I'll take and just get a, uh, I've got brushes here. I'm gonna grab some of this here and I'm just gonna kinda, actually what I could do, and I I guess I could, but I don't know if I will here. I'm gonna do, make a water line, cause we gotta figure out where our water line's gonna be. So I'm just gonna kinda bring it right here maybe. See that? Maybe you got a little, it comes down. There's some land back there. Make it a little darker for now. There. And I will come over to there. And I might even use a knife to do this. Take some white and some brown. Just mix it up. A little brown, a little white. There. And then I'll, then I'll just kind of get a little bit of a little bit, little bit of. Ugh. On here, just kind of come across here, a little darker. Not too much, you know. Okay, and we're gonna come this way. Just make some land. Okay, over here, make a little more white in there. I don't know where my land is. There, just go. You don't have to go. You know, you don't need it everywhere. Just little things here and there. And I'm just putting them kind of on the top of the knife and going across, so it gives it a little bit of a little bit of color there. Okay, and then I'm going to try and get a little more. A little, I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to try to get a little more, maybe a little more green and blue, a little white in the water. Maybe a little higher. I don't want it too light, but that might look better. Now this has got some white in it, so it's going to cover up down below. Doesn't that look a little better? Because see, you're just playing color against color, and then once you do that, it kind of looks good. I like that. A little more green right in there. Ooh. Maybe even a little red in the water. Purple from that sky. Watch this. Because you know that's up there, right? A little red, blue. See that cloud? Just like that, maybe. Not much, you know. So it kind of gives you an indication that there's something going on there. Okay. And then when you do that, you just want to come in and go across. Lightly. Blend it. There. Now you got a little bit of that. And then, or you can come in and, you know, if you want to, get a little white brush. Maybe there's some water lines down here. Very simple. Let's go right here. Get that. Or I just come in here, maybe. Not much. Just a few. Give a little indication that there's something going on. Sometimes mine don't get straight, so I don't know why, but... Okay. We can get some dark under there. Dark under here where there's land. Nice dark brown. Again, maybe I'll go this way. There, see that? Wherever you have too much dark, add some light. Or you have too much light, add some dark, and then it'll kind of make it stand out better. See that? And you can do this with a brush too. It's not hard to do. But there. Just one little something in there that gives a little, a little more definition. How's that look? So it looks like there's some distant land back there. And let's see, we're in here for what? Okay, looking good. 20 minutes. Hopefully there's not too much glare on there. You know, but 
think that looks all right. This one here, I might want to. I want it on. It just might be glaring a little too much. It's okay. Maybe when I'm standing in front of it, it's not too bad. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, um, let's see, where are we at? Yeah, so we got to get some stuff done in the front here. So all I'm going to do is grab the brush I've been using. And I'm going to grab some green. Okay. Some brown. Just a dirty. I'm going to take some of that. And we're just going to come in here and push that in. Put my palette. I'm going to hold this, but see? And then you can just come in and... That brush is good because it looks like a bunch of grass. It's more brown. Brown's a duller, so if, you, if your paintings look too... If they look too... Uh, they don't look real, add some brown, it'll dull it down, and that usually will help. But see all the dark I used? It makes it, makes it easier. Just push in. This one's actually not too bad. It's easy. I'm so backed up right now on, on ones I'm doing for friends and commissions. I just work. Summer's a tough time. My son's playing baseball, and uh, we've traveled. So i got to get my channel going again. I appreciate you guys for watching, if you're watching. And uh, also, I uh, want to thank you for subscribing and the comments and things like that. It's, it's fun. Painting is fun. And I... So, okay, so we have that, and now I want to get some highlight. I know there's not a lot, but I want to add a little blue down in here at the bottom. And I have to find some more blue. Where is it? There it is. I'm going to get a little darker at the bottom here. So I'm just going to put some more of this phthalo blue on my palette here. Okay, and then I'm just going to come in and grab it. There. You could even use some red in there down here, but I want to darken it a little bit, okay? Then it'll probably make it look closer, or it'll make it just the bottom, okay? There. So you've got some blue, and that makes it look a little better. Then, I don't think I'm going to use that brush because it's super dirty, but I'm going to come in and grab another one. These 99 centers, I tell you what, they work really good. Forgive me, I'm drinking coffee. Okay, and then I'm going to come in and just get these yellows all together. Okay, just tap them. And they're going to mix and create some. And this is wet on wet, so I'm just, you know what that means. You're just, the canvas, you're not letting it dry. I'm just tapping in here. And we're going to make some little things here. And this might need to be thinned a little. Yeah, maybe not. You can always put some paint thinner in there. It starts to mush, but just come in and don't kill all the dark. Just add a few little things in there. Just tapping it in. This is beginner painting 101. And then you've got some grass, and you want to round it when you're doing ovals. It just looks nicer, I think. Okay, so we've got that there. I like that. Looks good. And then we can put in some. Oh, shoot, we can put some trees in. So I'm going to need some paint thinner for that, though. Where is it? Oh, boy. Um, there it is. Yeah, I'm not very organized. I just used some paint thinner. And I'm going to come in and make some trees. I'm just going to use this for now. And maybe we can come in and push this. Oh, boy. There we go. Push that all the way in there. Dark. Get some blue in there. Some red, brown, make that trunk dark because, and move it around because they look better when you do that. I should have a liner brush, a good liner brush. I will add one in, okay? And that tree looks good. Maybe he's got a limb that comes over here. Okay, and then we can, let's see. We've got some good liner brushes if I can find them. Being organized helps. Oh, this one will work good. Grab a little more paint thinner. Okay. Grab some of that dark brown, whatever. Look at that one. Yes, that'll work good. And then you can come in and just make that come in and get that one. And here we'll just kind of 
pull some. Look at that. Now, when you're doing like this kind of a scene, those look good. We can come up here and just pull that all the way off. Doesn't have to be. Get some crimson, some blue, some brown. These need to be dark. Okay. Um, and we can make that a little bit thicker down here. There, pull him down like that. So, and then we can come up here and there's a little, see that? Just keep wiggling, right? And then here, you can just come back up. A little, this is a super good brush. So, there's another arm that comes right here. See, pull and snap it. This is thin paint, so it'll it's flowing nicely. So, and then just keep going. Anywhere there's a hook or anywhere there's a crink in the tree, that's where a limb wants to come off. See, you come there, go there, and just make a nice old ugly looking tree, but it stands out. And it's darker than that. It is darker than that, and hopefully, let's see. Okay, and then you can come up here and yeah, see that? Oh, there we go. Some more brown in there. I might need some more thinner. And up here, let things happen, you know. That looks pretty good, though. You can't mess trees up. You just got to be loose, though. Don't, don't try to work too hard on them because they can have a... So all I'm doing, this is wet, very thin paint. Okay, more little things. I don't know if you can see that, but and then we'll put one there. And that looks doesn't look too bad. You could have one tree in this one. I may go with that. I don't know. Okay, and then we're gonna grab some white. Okay, get some more. This, this is a good brush. I'm gonna grab some white, mix it in there. Try to lighten it up a little bit. Some brown. There we go. This is kind of a gray looking color, but that's all right. And maybe it's, we'll put a little light on this side. Give it some, you know, just come down this side, wiggle it. There. A little bit there. Just little spots. Just to make it look, you know, it's not. A little bit up in there. Tree looks kind of gray, doesn't it? But that gives it some highlights, which is good because you want to have those in there. That yeah, looks pretty good. I think I'm going to put that behind me a little bit more. There. Not bad. Now, another thing you can do is grab a little bit of... So it looks real. Really, again, I'm looking over here from my... So I don't know about that. There's my... Let me put a little... Watch this. Try a little of that yellow in there. On here just to see what it does. There, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, let's do that instead. I was gonna grab some burnt sienna because that's a really good, uh, it's a good, I like it for trees, it's good, but I think I'm just gonna use some of my yellows that I have up in here. Let's see, there. There, pull that down. And then you got a little tree there. I'm gonna. And we can put some foliage on it too. So we'll come in, get some dark. Okay, and I'm just going to use this brush here. I want it open. You can use it, all kinds of stuff here, but I'm just going to come in and tap in some foliage on here. And you kind of want it dark, don't we? A little green, a little blue, some good colors in there. There. Just a little. And I'm not putting any paint thinner on here, which is good. Oh, there. Just tiny. I don't want to cover up my cloud, so I'm just pushing in some of these. Okay. There. Maybe a little bit in there. Okay. So you've got the tree there, you know, and you can still see. Checking stuff out. Hopefully it's not too bright. We got a good video here. And you got that tree there. And we can do 
I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to do another tree, but that's a simple little painting. Um, we could come in, throw in, you, know, you could come in and do a little, eh, let's see here. I'm going to take some more color here, just some of this darker color, and maybe throw in a little, some blue. So my brown is in trouble. Okay, mixing them up here. Okay, some brown, some blue, a little phthalo green in there. And then maybe we could do a little, watch this. Oh boy, just throw this in. And then let it go up. A little distant tree there. Start at the bottom. It's darker. You want it darker? Okay. Get some green in there. And then as it goes up, you can let it get lighter or whatever. You've got a little tree there. That looks pretty good. I'm not too okay with that. Get some green. Phthalo green in there. Blue, reds. I'm just mixing everything the other I got. Maybe another one here. What I'm doing here, I like is it kind of slide that over see how I'm doing that slide a little bit so that gives us three trees so that gives us an odd number so apparently that's important I'm gonna get some highlights for that well watch this just a little bit just tapping a little bit on that side so you got your highlights in there and then I'm gonna take my this knife and we can grab some some of these and maybe do a little okay sometimes it gets too much like that but that's all right and then you can come back in and watch this just tap it out gives it a little indication there it doesn't really really matter so you got your mountain there you've got a nice little mountain scene and uh, you got a tree there, some nice little trees. And you can also do this. You can come in and do a little. I don't have a lot of bright yellow left, but you can come in and highlight a few of these, maybe just a little. Doesn't matter. And there. So, so what we did is you've got your nice colors, you've got your lights, and you've got your cut some trees in here. Simple little mountain scene uh, that you can do. And I just made this up. It wasn't even a. There was no uh, no uh, um, pattern or nothing. But you know, you round it around. But this is a good way you can use the black uh, gesso, black acrylic, whatever. And they say acrylic doesn't last as long. And then you can throw trees and do mountains and. And things like that so hopefully um, you like this one subscribe if you liked it more videos comment and uh, have a wonderful day thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye